So, stage three problems. Uh, now we fitted a bigger pump. Um, because the pump is putting out 50% more pressure, the standard pipe is failing. So, we've got this to fit today. This is uh, from Halfords, believe it or not, but it's rated to 300 psi. Now, the standard pump pushes out about 150 psi. This pump is anything up to 280 and beyond. So, we're going to fit this today, and hopefully, that's going to solve our problems. Uh, it just leaks first time in the morning when you uh, open the car door, it primes the pump and uh, I've just been smelling petrol so I went under the bonnet and you can see it all just seeping out so hopefully this is going to fix it to get to that one there. Lee, you remember Lee, don't you? He's the guy with the C63 AMG I reviewed. I haven't got a license. <laughs> Same the other side though, if you've done it the other side, wouldn't it? To get as much time you can just speed it up then can't you as well add it all together yeah yeah we're gonna speed this up um you're just gonna hear me huffing puffing and grunting i'm getting old now uh anyway this isn't too difficult a job um just taking the air filter off to get easier access uh and then it's literally just uh two jubilee clips and the pipe comes off It comes off like so easy. It would have to start raining now, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, you see, just it's oh, yeah. to wear it, away, isn't yeah. it? I mean, if you feel that, how yeah, squidgy that is. Yeah, compared to that one. Compared to this. But you can see if you. S I mean, you can't even. You can't do. I can do a face. Hello. Oh, yeah. You can't even yeah, really squeeze That's off. what you need. It's, yeah, OEM crap. You and thought they'd rate it tomorrow, wouldn't you? Obviously, it's cheaper so, yeah. for them to get it. It's where it squirts in my face. <laughs> Happy? Hi. Easy as that. How long was that? We're fiddling around 20 minutes? Fiddling around. Hopefully. Shouldn't get a smell of petrol in the morning. No. Get that 
awesome. Good morning, guys. How are we doing? Uh, so today, another special day. So, meet your boy Mark uh, from GPZ Automotive. Yep, Mark. fabricating a standard exhaust for me so obviously we had the car rolled uh, we got 430 wheel horsepower uh, I mean at the time he did have a, a boost leak uh, on the diverter valve however we obviously needed to get a, a more freer flowing exhaust gas um, so what a lot of people do obviously is they go out and they buy a really expensive piece of metal uh, either a Miltec or a Scorpion um, and you really don't need to the standard back box is I mean it's horrific inside um, I'll show you a picture of it right now that's horrific now they do that for uh, obviously emissions re uh, reasons and uh, obviously to keep a bit of noise down um, so what we're doing is we're ripping that out uh, Mark's going to custom fabricate um, a free flowing insert, insert into that and then we're going to put the sound end in and on and weld it back together um, so the car is still going to have the standard exhaust now as I said a lot of people go for expensive sort of upgrades so as I said either Miltec or Scorpion or I mean there's loads of Cobra systems now if you want let's say for instance a Miltec if you want a Miltec and you want it valved you still want your valves so when you cycle through your car program your valves are going to open and close um, and if you want it resonated you're looking at near enough 2k uh, same with Scorpion systems I think Scorpion you could probably get for 1600 1700 quid but still it's a lot of money for something that is going to be underneath the car that you're not going to see anyway uh, and for something that for a much cheaper price you can use the stock exhaust I mean the stock the diameter of the stock exhaust on the S3 is 2.75 uh, inches which I mean the Miltex and the Scorpions are a 3 inch system but to be honest for the turbo we're running the uh, Technics V4 2.75 is more than enough it's more than enough um, so we're just on my way now because he's finished it uh, we're going to stick it on the car see what it sounds like give you a couple of revs uh, so yeah let's do just that Take a moment right here Feeling like a sound gear Driving towards the sun With a rose and a gun Feel the wind in my hair Going nowhere I swear Like an outlaw on the run Dangerous but so fun Running, running, no Hold on, don't let me So as you can see it's been cut and welded, it's not the best material to weld with, uh, this metal. But, let's see what this sounds like. So, I did want to do quite a brief sort of overview of this new exhaust. However, having seen the work and care and craftsmanship Mark put into this exhaust, I felt I needed to just show you that in a, in a video. So I'm sorry if this goes on for a bit, but just look at what went into this exhaust. Take a moment right here, feeling like a sound gear, driving towards the sun with a rose and a gun. Feel the wind in my head.
Tell my boss that I'm done Had no luck with my mom Say what will you do with your life You know it's hard to survive A cigar in my mouth Maybe guilty but proud Now I'm an outlaw on the run Dangerous but it's so fun Running, running Well guys, the exhaust is on and it sounds fucking awesome. Absolutely awesome. So we're hearing a lot more of the cracks from the actual pops. So hopefully I can give you an example. 